Easier when I'm with her. She makes it not so bad. To be honest, Chloe, it was just becoming a bit much. Okay, you are sick of having me around. I get it. You're meant to be supporting each other, not tearing each other apart. I'm sorry. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I mean, I quite like it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I thought you lot would have slept in. You guys got home late last night. Uh, listen, old man, it was barely past ten. Was it? Yeah. Have you spoken to your mum this morning? About my first coffee. I haven't had a proper conversation with anyone. I'll vouch for that. Yeah, she was pretty upset. Something about missing a family dinner last night. Oh, you're kidding. I thought you said you'd call Mia and ask if we can swap nights. I. I thought that you said you were going to call. That wasn't the deal. Yes, it was. Maybe it's just crosswise. I'm 100% certain. Look, I don't care who said or thought what. All I know is that Mia is upset. I know you have a lot going on at the moment, but you do need to sort this out. I'll grab breakfast and I will head straight home. Hey, got the time and belt, so we are good to go. Great. I will get started on that right away. I thought you weren't coming in today. Neither did I, but Justin had to leave, so here I am. And lucky for you, I love being a boss. So, four-wheel drive out there. It's here for its 75k service. Do you want to start with the oil change? Yeah. Uh, what happened with Justin? Was it some kind of emergency or...? I don't think so. You said something came up. Hey! Hey! So? What exactly did Dimitri say? Just that he's on his way. Yeah, but good mood, bad mood, angry, happy? I don't know. I couldn't get a read, but call me crazy. I am thinking this is a good thing. Mm. Yeah, I guess he's had time to think about what he said about cutting Theo out of his life. Maybe. I mean, obviously there's going to be issues between them, but I guess he's realised that it was very harsh. I guess we'll find out when he gets here. Yeah. Hey, um, you didn't say anything to Theo. No, he didn't get back from Yowie Creek before I left. Yeah, good. I just don't want to get his hopes up, just in case Dimitri is coming for another reason. What time's he getting here? Midday. Thought I'd make some lunch. You're not going to too much trouble, are you? I am doing everything I can to make this work. Hello. Oh, Look like you're having a busy day. Oh, absolutely. I'm run off my feet. <laughs> Well, what can I do to help? I mean, I don't actually want to touch any bait, but I'm happy to do the cleaning. Honey, I was joking. I'm oh. not busy at all. Right. <laughs> I thought you had the day off. Yeah, I do. That's a good thing, isn't it? I'm just kind of at a loose end. Oh, well, why don't you go to Yabby Creek and do some shopping? You know how you love that. Or just grab a coffee and sit in the sun. Yeah, well, you could join me. I mean, we could have brunch. Oh, no, I'm waiting on a delivery. Well, you stick a note on the door and tell them that we're at the diner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I'm a bad influence. I know you're trying to get your job done. <laughs> Bad influence. I know what it's like to have the day off and to not know what to do with yourself. So. It's just my life used to be so full. I'm really missing looking after little Grace. We always had something to do. <gasps> Problem solved. Leah has asked me to take her afternoon shift. OK, well, what are you going to do after your shift? Oh, I'll be fine. I'll see you later. OK. Bye. 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 I thought you were going to see Mia. Am I allowed to finish my breakfast first? Yeah, you can finish it on your way there. Nick. What? Dean said that she was upset. Yes, we all heard. Well, I just thought, you know, it'd be keen to see what was wrong. OK, will you relax? She said she's going there straight after this. I can come with you if it will help. Thank you, but if she's upset, then I should go alone. I'll text you later. Yeah. Oi. She's making an effort. And we had a really good time last night. 
I'm pretty sure that she ditched Mia to come and hang out with us. I'm pretty sure it was a misunderstanding. No, it wasn't. I never said that I'd be the one to contact Mia. Oh, she's going to apologize to her mum now. So we just ease up. Guessing that was about Chloe. Who else? Hello. Hey, um, I'll catch up with you later. And by later, do you mean an hour? Because that's how long we have for lunch? Yes, boss. All right, the sound of that. You to give someone a little bit of power and it goes straight to their head. <laughs> so how's it going? Because I've got to tell you, this is a totally good look for you. Yeah, <laughs> I just signed on for my apprenticeship. Hey, good for you. It's no big deal. But you love it, right? I feel like I've barely seen you lately. Same. Do you want to grab lunch? I mean, unless you've got something better to do. Or... Uh. Absolutely nothing, Mr. Overalls. Let's go. Oh. oh, thanks for dropping everything to come home. I'm actually a little bit nervous, is that weird? No, it's cute, but completely unnecessary. It's just my brother. Yeah, <clears throat> I just want this to work for Thea. And you. And I know you and Dimitri butted heads last time. Mm, no, he's just stubborn. Oh, that must be him. Okay, please let this be a step forward for Theo's sake. Hey! Come here, come here. Welcome back yeah, to the bay. Thank you. Oh. It's been too long, huh? This is Justin. G'day, mate. Nice to meet you finally. Likewise, likewise. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, sit down. I made lunch. No, no, lunch can wait. Lunch can wait. Uh, so, where is he? Where's my son? Where are you hiding him? I thought we agreed that we put all the tension between you and Chloe behind us. It's not like I'm not trying. Hey guys, come over here, you're having lunch with us. Thought well, you might be hungry. Really? This feels more like an ambush. But the pizza's free. No thanks, I'll catch you guys later. Okay. So Chloe's still causing problems for you guys? No, she's not. We had a really good time last night. She couldn't take two seconds to text her mum about the dinner? Well, obviously she didn't realise what a big deal it was. Look, Chloe has told me that she's avoiding going home. I get it. But now it's affecting Mia. She's dealing with a lot. Yeah, they all are. But her pushing the family away, it's not going to help anyone. Chloe is sorting it out. She's gone to see Mia now. Yeah, it's more than Mia. It's even causing problems for you and Nico. You guys need space. Boundaries is the word he's looking for. I'm not going to abandon my friend. You wouldn't be. Mia wants to be there for Chloe, but at the moment, she hasn't even got that chance. It's one thing being a good friend but not at the expense of your relationship with Nico or me's relationship with Chloe. Yeah. I can talk to her again if you want. No, that is like the worst possible way to deal with this. I actually agree with Bella this time. I will do it. I mean, how hard can it be? Hey, hi. Yeah, good. Uh, listen, how's your, uh, how's your work going? Oh, good, good. I'm working, busy. Oh, Are you happy? <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, anyway, I'd better get on. Um, you have a good afternoon. Yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, so I am the one doing all the talking. Oh, don't say it like it's unusual. Yeah, but I want to know what's up with you. Not a whole lot right now. You hanging in there? How could I not be when I have such awesome company for lunch? Have you guys decided? No, not yet. Oh. Hey, um, where's Leah? Isn't she meant to be working today? Oh, she asked me to cover her shift. Did she say why? No, just something came up. Justin said the same thing to Ziggy earlier. Well, maybe they both have an appointment. <laughs> like a couple's massage or something. Oh, see, that's like a picture in my head that I just didn't need that. Oh, you know what? Maybe they are planning a surprise for you. Mm, yeah, see, now that could be a better option. <laughs> I gotta say, I was surprised to get your call. Well, I pretty much heard everything that you said and I think you were right, you know. I need to move on with Theo. But you're pretty adamant not to have anything to do with him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled that you changed your mind. You can relax, okay? I'm only here to mend fences. Good. All right, well, we'll give you all the support you need. I think you're going to be really happy with how Theo's doing. He's even started his apprenticeship. With who? You? Yeah. He's still learning about respect, yeah? So I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Like I said, he has come a long way. You should be proud. Awesome. Look at that, huh? A lesson on parenting from my little sister. <laughs> well, she's got Theo's back. We both do, mate. Mm, clearly. But how about you guys just tell me where he is? No, I'll give him a call. 
No, no, we'll surprise him. Or do I need your permission for that? No, it's fine. Good. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm Theo. Oh. Guilty. <laughs> and congratulations on your apprenticeship. Ah, oh, thanks, Marilyn. Must be nice to have something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, darling, um, I can always step in if you need me to cover your ship. Thank you, miss. Okay. <laughs> Chloe. Hey. I thought you were going home to spend some time with Mia. I did, I did, but she'd already made plans for the day. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a proper catch-up tomorrow, so it's all good. Oh, wow. I need to get back to work. I don't want to get on Ziggy's bad side. Sure. Um, are you avoiding me on purpose? What are you talking about? Look, I'm sure there are many reasons why you don't want to go home. I saw Mum and we're fine. Well, hopefully now you guys get to spend a lot more time together. You'll be happy to have a break from me, I guess. That is not what I'm saying. You are welcome at my place whenever you need to. What I am saying is we're not the only people in your life. So you do want me to back off? This is not me trying to get rid of you. It's not. Don't push her away. You need her. You're right. I know you're only looking out for me. Thank you for being honest. You have to admit, it's gotten a bit out of hand. I'm not trying to argue. I'm just saying maybe you don't have to be the one to fix it. Yeah, but Bella hasn't been able to handle it. What makes you think she's going to do it now? At least give her the chance to try. I know you're trying to look after Adi's family, but maybe it's better that they work it out for themselves. Yeah, maybe. Right, I got to get back to work. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Is Bella gone? Yeah, she just went to talk to Chloe. Hey, leave her with me. What's going on? I wish I knew. Chloe's all over the place, and every time I try and talk to her about it, she bites my head off. Yeah, I got that. Look, I'm just trying to go with the flow. You know, spend some more time with my girl. You okay? Yeah, I will be. Thanks for asking. I need to take this. Hey, Mia. Yep. No worries. See you then. So Justin didn't give you any hint on what's going on? I told you already. No. He doesn't show up for work. Neither does Leah. They're planning a surprise party for me, aren't they? Is it your birthday? No. Then why would they do that? I don't know, because I'm awesome. Theo, what do you think grown-ups do when they get the house to themselves? I mean, oh. do I have to paint a picture for you? Yuck, stop! I bet you any money that... Oh, joke's on me. Look who turned up on the doorstep. What? A hug for Dad? Not a bad setup you got here. Works for us. Yeah, well, it's a family business now. I might go check on those parts. So, what are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd see how you were coming along. Really? Because you told Leah you didn't want anything to do with me. Leo, I was having a bad day. You know what I'm like. Yeah, yeah, I do. Why don't we get out of here, get some coffee? Well, look, if you don't mind, I, I, I wouldn't mind some one-on-one -on -one time. It'd be just nice to, to chat. Yeah, no, well, there's a lot to catch up on. Uh, Why don't you go home, make yourself comfortable? No, we're still pretty busy. I'm sure the boss can give you some time off. What do you say? Uh, Ziggy's giving me a list of jobs to do and I've got to start my first assignment, so. Whatever you want to do, mate, it's up to you. Just a quick break, huh? Quick chat. It's not going to hurt. Come on, please. OK, fine. Good. Let's go. 
I was worried Chloe would take it the wrong way, but she really got on board with what I was saying. Do I give good advice or what? Seriously? You're going to take all the credit? Well, I was the one that told you to set boundaries with Chloe. <laughs> Even though that's not exactly what I said, Siggy did. If I had left this to you, it would be a disaster. But it's sorted, right? That's the main thing? Yes. You see, sometimes stressing about having the talk is actually worse than having the talk. Mm. I'm officially a miracle worker. Mia and Chloe all sorted, thanks to me. Oh, seriously? Yeah. I talked to her and she knows that she has to spend more time with her mum. Well, let me guess. Didn't happen today. Yeah, well, Mia has other plans, yes. But Chloe's going to catch up with her tomorrow. Right. What more do you want from her? Well, I spoke to Mia about half hour ago. And she told me she hasn't spoken to Chloe all day. What? But Chloe just said. She lied. You can ask Mia. She'll tell you the exact same thing that she told me. Chloe played you, Bella. She's been lying to all of us. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. Then go. Not without you. I, I, I mean it, Theo. You've had your fun. It's time to come home. No. Stop mucking around, Theo, please. Just come back home to the business. I don't want to. You got a proper job with me, huh? Stop wasting your time with this apprenticeship. It's embarrassing. Oh, not to me. Have some respect. Respect? Respect is earned. You're the one who taught me that. Go pack your bags. No. Don't push me, Theo. Your mum's not here to help you anymore. What does that even she mean? She walked out on me! Are you happy? Yes. I am. I told you she should have left you years ago. You're coming home, and we're going to sort this out. I'm not going anywhere with you. Theo, you, know, you all right? Hey. You all right? What happened? What did you say to him? That kid has got no respect for family anymore, and things have only been getting worse since he's been here with you. What's all this? I didn't want to have this conversation with you in front of your mum. Because? Because you said that you talked to her and you made plans. But she hasn't heard from you all day. You're checking up on me? Yes. Because you're lying to everybody. I'm not. Chloe. I'm not. I'm not. I am your friend. And I have stood by you this entire time. I'm not sure that's actually true. Excuse me? You don't want me around. You made that clear today. It's like you can't even stand the sight of me. Chloe, that is so unfair. It's just all I did was tell you what you wanted to hear. Maybe that's what people do when they are scared that their friends are about to drop them. OK, all right, let's break this up. Both of you need a bit of space. I thought that you were supposed to be looking out for me. Bella, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. you need to go. Grab your stuff. I'll drop you home. I don't need your help. Hey. She'll be OK. I'm sorry that Theo turned you down, but to be fair, you did take him by surprise. You know, you came and you asked me to repair with my son. You begged me. Oh, I can't win, can I? Dimitri. I'm not going to apologise for how he reacted, OK? Do you understand that? No, no, no one is asking me to, but he too. was really upset. Yeah, but that's because you got in his ear and you turned him against me like you did with my wife. Oh, hang what? On, mate. What's hang Cassandra got to do with this? Two days after your visit? She packed the bag and she left me. Now, that can't be a coincidence, can it? Dimitri, but does Theo know? Yes. 
How did he take it? Well, he sided with his mum, as usual. Look, I I'm really sorry. Well, I don't need your sympathy. I just need your help getting my family back. You missed the bus. What happened? Can I have a lift? Sure. So, where are we headed? Just get me as far away from this place as possible. Can do. Do you know somewhere we can go? Stay with me. 